three things to not do for verbal. And we've done a lot of things on what should you do. There are three things that I want, and no one should do when you're preparing for the verbal section in CAT. First one, diving deep into grammar and understanding what is the present participle of different verb tenses, thinking about gerunds and whatnot. And so, be it grammar or literature, you don't need to dive deep. We've not had a hardcore grammar question in years. You're going to get sentence correction questions. Even those have been kind of uh, declining in CAT. CAT is dominated by RCs and para jumbles and sentence eliminations after that. So sentence correction is not a primary testing area. Even there, you need to have a feel for what oh, this sentence appears funny and not really know your grammar rules. So don't dive deep into grammar rules. Second one, vocabulary. When you will need absolutely, uh, you will definitely not need to know a gazillion words to crack this exam. Your reading comprehension passages are going to be simple to read and generally tougher to answer. The tricky part lies in questions on, on reading between the lines, sensing something which is not said. So your reading habit helps, but memorizing 1500 words for the sake of cat preparation is absolute nonsense. It gives you no payoff. So if you have started on the journey, close those books. They're, they might be useful for some other exam, Maybe you might have fun doing it, but it has no bearing on cat performance. Read a lot, organically your vocabulary and your sense of usage of words will improve. That is important. But inorganically hard booting a set of words, useless. The third thing, and this is a very big thing, is the idea of speed reading. And right? so CAT is not about reading speed. You get six passages, 500 to 600 words tops each. And so usually most students can read five of these in the exam within the time allotted. It is not that difficult. Very often when you're thinking about reading speed, you tend to start to read quicker and quicker. And then you gloss over detail. You, you try to remember lots of facts and you forget the, uh, the, the crux of the passage. Read at your natural speed. Read a lot so that organically your reading speed improves. But you can't manipulate your mind to start reading quicker for the heck of it without sacrificing something. And usually what is sacrifice is accuracy. Almost everyone reads five passages. The difference, the last two cat verbals have been very clear. There have been students who have, who have both attempted 28 questions. One has ended up with 99.3 in verbal, another with 75. They practically attempted the same 28 questions. And so this is clearly saying that one is pausing, thinking, taking time, mulling over two choices, reading slowly, deciphering and answering. And the other is willy-nilly picking B out of B or D or C out of C or D. Just randomly marking the answer without processing that so one is operating in a frenzy, other is operating in a much calmer environment. So I would go to the extent of saying practice reading slowly. The best guys are the ones who can find a natural reading pace, comfortably take in the passage without consciously storing and stowing away information and facts and numbers. And then go to the question, you will still be able to recall if you have sufficient reading practice, but no point trying to build your reading speed for this exam. Reading speed organically improves vocabulary organically improves. Both of these improve naturally if you read a lot. Use that path to improve both. Don't hard boot either. All the best for you.